How do we do that? Again, it is very easy, right? I'm going to show you uh, an example. So let's say I have a space H1, which is the uh, a, which is a C2 space. So what is the dimension of a C2 space again? Two dimensional, correct? Yeah, and then we form a new space which is H3 equals to H1 tensor product H2, English tensor product Japanese, right? Now let's say in the first base, I have U1, okay? Equals to A, B, C. C, D, okay? This is just a matrix because you said it's two dimension, right? So it's two by two. <clears throat> And I assume I have another operation in the higher dimensional space. And this is uh, E, G, F, H. So how do you find the tensor product of these two matrix? Again, just like what you did for the vector. U3 equals to U1 tensor product U2 equals to just write it down A, B, C, D, tensor product. Now need T and you need to write tensor product. If you skip tensor product, I don't know if you're doing matrix multiplication or not. Right? Now they are different, right? So you need to be careful. E, G, F, H. How do you do it? As I said, just like what you did for the column vector. So what do you do? A, the whole thing. B, the whole thing. C, E, G, F, H. D, E, G, F, H. Okay. Then, what you are going to get is <clears throat> A, E, A, G, B, E, B, G. Right? Because A, E, A, G, B, E, B, G will be the first column. Then you get A, F, A, H, B, F, B, H, C, E, C, G, D, E, D, G, C, F. Can you tell me what is that, the last row? C, F, and then C, H. DF, DH, thank you. Yeah, I want to make sure that you know what I'm doing. It's that easy. But does it make sense? What is the dimension now for this matrix? Four by four. Should we expect a 4D dimension here? Yes, right? Because this one is C2, tensor product C2, which should be C4. Right? So everything makes sense. Yeah. No, uh, you need to do in this way. A, B, C, are you saying that you want to make A, B, C, T to a vertical column? But, but this is a matrix, right? You cannot transform it to the column. It becomes a vector. Yeah. This is a two-dimensional matrix, two by two, right? Yeah. Operators, yes, they're operations, yes. Right. So it makes sense. Tensor power. Tensor power on the matrix, which is not based on vector, it's an operator. It makes sense. What does it mean? What does it mean? Very good. It basically saying that I'm going to do this in the next slide. I have two vectors, each on one space, right? I can apply an operation to the first qubit. Also apply another operation to the second qubit. But when you combine this as a whole system, it's a two qubit system. 
What is the matrix representing these two operations? In the new space. Yeah. You can treat them as sub, as a two different space. I say my English, right? Uh, shift the character all by one to the left. Greek shift the character all by one to the right. These are two operations. Now I combine them together, right? It's a new space. What is the operation corresponding to? I shift all the English to the left and the Greek part to the right. What is that matrix? For this one. But let's take a look then, then, then it will be clear. <clears throat> so let's look at this, why this makes sense. Let's look at this, I have a vector, let's say f equals to zero, one of the basis vector. I have f2 also equals to zero, another basis vector in the second electron. So all is f1 tensor product f2. Can someone tell me? Very simple. What is the F1 tensor product F2? Just zero, zero, right? Because they are the basis vector anyway. Or you just do the operation is zero, zero. Or <clears throat> I can say this is also one, zero, 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 right? Because I only the first one. If you're not happy with that, think about this. This is just exactly equal to this because this guy, this guy is one zero. This guy is also one zero. Am I right? So you just do the tensor product. Everything makes sense. This is the first basis in the four dimensional space is one zero 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 zero. And it's the tensor product of these two bases. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Now, let's say I do an operation, okay? I transform F F1 by U1, F2 by U2 first, okay? What do I get? U1, F1 equals to A, B, C, D times 1, 0. What is this? I mean, what is the result? Not, not matrix. Matrix times vector is what? Vector, right? You rotate a vector in the hyperspace, right? It's still a vector. What is this? How do you do the multiplication? Row times column, right? So what is this? A, C, right? Now you need to make sure that you know this, right? Oh, you, see, you need to use this in the exam, okay? A, C. How about U2 operates on F2? What is U2? E, G, F, H, right? What do you get? EF. Thank you. Is this okay? Make sure you know that E times 1 plus G times 0 equal to E. F times 1 times H times 0 equal to F, right? These are the two vector. I rotate them in their space. I apply a laser pulse. They replace, right? Then, what is the tensor product? U1, F1, Tensor product U2, F2. I rotate them first and then look at it as a whole system. I do the tensor product. What is this? AC, tensor product EF, which is equals to what? AE, AF, CE, C, CF. Right? So this shows that I apply the pulse individually to the vector first, and then the whole system becomes this vector. Okay, fine. How about this? I do the tensor product on U1 and U2 first. 
and then apply it to the tensor product of the two vector. It means I treat them as a whole system. What is the tensor product of the whole system? And then I apply the corresponding transformation matrix. Okay? What is U1 tensor product U2? You forgot. But I got it from the last slide, right? AE, AG, BE, BG, AF, AH, BF, BH, CE, CG, DE, DG, just trust me, uh, CF, CH, DF, DH. That is what we got from last night, right? What is F1 tensor product F? I just told you from the top. 1, 0, 0, 0. We already did the tensor product, right? So we're completely working in the whole system. Right? I just see a C4 space, a two qubit space. What is this? AE, AF, CE, CF. Right? For those who, who, still, who are still confused, because AE times 1 plus AG times 0 plus BE times 0 plus BG times 0 give you the first element. So this one basically just take the first column. Right? Are they the same? Right? So now you see that, of course I did not prove it, but now you see that when you construct an operator in higher space, then you can apply directly to the tensor, pro the, the vector in that higher space, right? So in this example, I show you that I operate the rotation in individual subspace individual qubit and then combine them, look at, look at them as a whole system. The result is the same as, I look at, it, look at it as a whole system and operate it with a matrix or operation corresponding to this higher space. In a four-dimensional space, I have four-dimensional matrix. I get the same result. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. So what's the use case for this? The use case is uh, just, no, just to show you, the, uh, the most important thing is to show you um, how to do tensor product and show you that they, connect, they, they really uh, are the same. And then in the future, when you try to design your gate, for example, you can have two Hadamard gates applied or two not gate applied to two qubit. And now you want to simulate the whole system. You have two ways. One is to apply them in the eventually, eventually do tensor product, or treat them as the two qubit system and apply this two by two matrix to it. Like this, yeah. 